Sean Meg here from I Teach Stamping and welcome to another unboxing video. So this is for the holiday catalog of Stampin' Up Goodness. So just arrived, I have been so excited. I, I have no idea actually what I ordered. This is, That's normal for me. Like I order stuff and then I'm like, what did I even order? So it's always a surprise when I open the box. So all I do know for sure is that there's gonna be new catalogs in here. <laughs> Okay, so we've got all of our packing list. Let's just go through it. Mmm. The Good Tidings stamp set. So this is a two-step stamp. So you use the different images together. And I just knew that this would make fast and quick Christmas cards and yet stunning, stunning ones as well. I also liked it because of the two in the from. Because I can make beautiful gift tags with this set. Yay! Okay, so set of 14. The Good Tidings stamp set. Ooh, the pizza boxes. So they come flat. I think there's eight in a package. Yeah, there's eight in a package. And then you just put them together after you decorate them, stamp them, do whatever you want with them. Those will be fun to work with. All right, let's see here. Where do we go next? Let's go to this one. This is probably the one I was most excited about. I am a font junkie, like love me some fonts. And when I saw this one, Mm-hmm. I think this one is part of a kit, but I didn't get the kit. I just got this. And I thought this would be pretty on tags. Um, and I can also separate out my stamp here and just have joy. I like the season of cheer. I don't know what I'll do with the other guys. I'll do something. But, mm, 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 mm. Okay, there's that. Let's go to what's next. Swirly snowflake thinlets. Oh, 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 yeah, those go. So we'll set those aside for right now. Oh, I see. I see Halloween. So this one, is that my punch? There it is. Meow, meow, kitty cat punch for Halloween. It punches out this guy. And I loved this little tag here. I love the trick or treat. Um, I'm a little creeped out by the mouse, but it'll get you somewhere. Happy Halloween. Cute little owl. Oh, I like just having the eyes. That's fun. And the little potions, the little feet and the witch's hat. Okay, this is gonna be a fun one. And I'm really excited about the cat punch. I don't know why. Like, that's what I'm most excited about. Oh, going on with the Halloween. Here's that black lace. What's this one called? Vintage crochet trim. That is beautiful. So it's not too thick, but it's not too thin. Very elegant. It's going to be perfect. Ooh, you know, this will be really good also on Christmas tags. Just having a little pop of black on them with some red and green. Not much, just a little bit. I'm going to have fun with this one. Hug in a mug. Hug in a mug. What a cute name of a stamp set. So if you don't know me very well, then you don't know my true love for coffee. Oh my gosh, I love my coffee. So anything that's a stamp set with coffee, this girl will have it. So hot chocolate is like a hug in a mug. Sending warm thoughts, you warm my heart, two-step stamping, and then you, oh, how cute. I, how, somehow I missed this before. Uh, like the cinnamon stick that you can put in there and the candy cane and the straw. Oh, and look at the little tea bag. Marshmallow spoon and the little tray. Fun, this is going to be a fun one. I knew I was getting it. I didn't pay that much attention to it. This Santa Claus. So I like the, <laughs> the backside of this Santa Claus. Santa's suit. When I first started stamping a long time ago, I had these stamps that were Santa suit pieces. And it was from, like, I picked it up at a craft fair. And I don't know, well, we've moved several times since then, and I never found it again. So this set brought me back to the very first stamping that I ever did. And um, so this will be fun. This will be fun, the little clothesline with the clothespins. And there's framelits that go with this. That's not it. Oh, the Santa Builder one. And so it'll cut out different pieces of it. Awesome. Gotta love coordinating framelits. Ooh, this ribbon. This is one of the things I was most excited about in the entire catalog. So this is a wired ribbon. Love that. And it's striped and I'm so excited. Like it's a wide ribbon. Don't be surprised if you see this on a bazillion projects on my site for the next couple months. By the next couple months, you'll be like, oh my gosh, does she ever use anything else? So yeah, got a couple of them. Mm. Okay, clear the calendar folks. I am stamping today. I wasn't going to, but I also didn't know my box was arriving. Catalogs, okay, so if you don't have a demonstrator and you need a catalog, I now have catalogs, so email me and we'll get you all taken care. You have to live in the US. 
So if you're watching this for another, you have to live in the, the US. I can't ship catalogs out of the country. Okay, so here it, oh, see, this is another font set. Look at that. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So this one goes with that framelit set I was talking about before. This is the, the other part. Merry Christmas from our family to yours, season greetings. And then these snowflakes, they have a border that goes along with it. This is going to be stunning to use. So I got the clear mount of this one. Oh yeah, okay, so it's called Snowflake Sentiments. Love it. All right, so some of them got, some of my little gems came off in shipping, that's okay. So just black rhinestones. That'll be fun. I hope I got a couple of these. I don't remember. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. I forgot about this. We're open. So I don't want to open it. That'll just take time. It's a giant embossing folder with a snowflake. Never have we had one like this before. So I'm excited because this in itself will make a beautiful, beautiful card. So if you are going to be making a whole lot of cards this year and you don't have a ton of time, make sure to have this one on your list because this can do all the work for you. Can't wait to play with that one. What's in this box? Oh, the treat tubes. Okay. So here we go. Oh, look at those. How fun. So they're about four inches in length. I really, I don't think I paid attention to the description and there's a dozen of them in here. Oh my gosh, how cool. And they're plastic. They're plastic folks. And the little stopper on top. Yep, clear the calendar. Clear the schedule, clear the whole, the whole week. More coffee cups, so Mary Cafe. So this one coordinates with the, the coffee one in the annual catalog. So if you have that one, then this one will work with it. It's kind of like a twofer. So what have we got? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now, because this works for Valentine's Day to fall to, yep, there's a witch's brew. So you get Halloween, Christmas, New Year, fall, Valentine's, perk up. And this one goes with that little framelit. A lot of people have been like, where does that little guy, because there's no stamp in the other stamp set that goes with that little coffee cup one. It's because it'll die cut out from the pattern paper. But now we have a stamp. I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited. Ooh, labels to love. So this one should have a punch. There it is. Ta-da! So this one right here, everything fits in it. This is another set that for me was hands down a must because it's got everything. It's got Halloween, it's got Christmas, it's got um, Thanksgiving, all the way to Valentine's Day. So you've got a to and a from made with love. You can put that on the back of all of your cards. This one is definitely one to be excited about. If you're looking through the catalog, you don't know where to start. I always recommend versatility and you can never go wrong with a coordinating punch. I need to make a t-shirt that says that. You can never go wrong with a coordinating punch. <laughs> um, trim your stockings, thinlets. I really don't know what that is. We'll have to come back to that. All right, pattern paper. Let's take a look. Which one is this? Christmas around the world. Let's see what we got, folks. So we have ones with snow. Oh, yeah, you can never go out wrong with a good red and white stripe. Oh, well, this is cool for little tags. As, yep. And then just a very serene, solid nutcrackers. If you're into nutcrackers, oh, I do love the plaid. That's what it was about this pattern paper. It had a lot of plaids. I'm a plaid person. I love plaid for the holidays. Oh, food. Food, food paper, more plaid. So I'll use the plaid side for sure. I won't use the food side. And cars, yeah, again, not my thing. So what is the back gonna be? Ooh, pretty. It's like a blue and gray snowflakes. Blue, gray, smoky slate in there. Not a bright white at all. That, I'll use that side for sure. Um, rings. Okay, so I can definitely see using this with some circle punches. What's on the back side? Oh, we got peppermints, peppermint candies. I'll use, I'll use the peppermint side. So I always like to go through and see what pattern paper I'll use right off the bat. Oh, I see more plat. Oh, I know what that paper is, but we're gonna we're gonna pay attention to the to the Halloween first. So this is the spooky night pattern paper. So it's definitely a vanilla paper pack rather than white. 
So we've got, ooh, cool patterns, just great texture. Witches hats. We've got, oh, are these already turned for them? No, they're just kind of out of order. Um, some tree scenes, branches. Ooh, I like that, that pattern. So it's got the lines through it, but they're not a solid line. That'll be fun. Ooh, have fun with the pumpkins. Ooh, I like the next one. Okay, what's the back side? Oh. I'm a polka dot junkie. I am, love me some polka dots. The potions is fun. Remember the potions on that Halloween set? Was it the cat set? Yeah, it was the cat set. That'll work perfect with this. The back side, that's a fun one. It's kind of busy, so I don't think I'd fill a whole card with it, the little pops of that. We have some more stripies and what's on the back side. There are lots of words, love that. And then we repeat them all again. Yep, yep, awesome. So that is the Halloween paper. I always have to get my Halloween stuff right away because you just have such a short creative time from when the catalog, so the catalog will go live at the beginning of September. So make sure with your Halloween stuff, you get it right away. Okay, because there will be a rush. Everyone's going to be getting it then. So what paper is this? This is Merry Little Christmas. This is the paper I was most excited about in this catalog because I love, remember when we were talking about the ribbon and the trim and just little pops of black? Mm. Okay, so this one has the great plaid, but then the black and white. Yep, it's definitely a white, not a vanilla. We've got that one, and then some green stripies, and similar but different. So if you're mass producing, you could easily interchange these two patterns. Yep, that's that same one. More polka dots. Huh. We'll definitely be using the polka dot side. <laughs> Green stripes, love me solid stripes. Oh my gosh, look at that. So why is it that just a black and white check pattern gets me all excited? Like this pattern has been around forever, but I don't know, it just, it's almost like it's such a blank canvas, like I can do anything with it. So this paper has, as we're going through it, definitely some holiday type feels to it, but not the other side. So this is such a versatile paper. I'm gonna have to get some more of this to last me throughout the year. Because I love stamping things and doing, yeah, I won't use the black trees, but I do like the the stripies. Um, I like I like doing things, I like buying paper I can use all throughout the year. And you can never go wrong with little pops of black and white. And that was something that when I first started making cards, I was afraid to have too much black on my cards because I didn't want them to feel like gloomy, right? But just that little accent of black and white makes the rest of your card pop. Then we're back to these again. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. <laughs> Love some pattern paper. I know my knife is in there. I have to be careful not to stab myself. So here's the front of that catalog. More catalogs, more catalogs, and the knife, and these. So I don't remember these. Trim your stocking thinlets. What does this go with? I completely <laughs> forgot about these. So you can make um, the little pillow boxes out of these and your stockings and everything else that goes along with it. So like you can hang your little pom-pom things. It just looks like pom-poms. It's really not, of course you could use real pom-poms. And you've got the stitched, oh, so these are stitched here. Look at the little stitched heart and the little stitched star. And I love, love, love the bell. And then you have a little tag, and of course you can use that tag with anything, and we can never go wrong with having another small circle. Look at that snowflake and the holly berry leaves. <laughs> Clear the schedule, folks. Wait, do we have the, the, we've got the leaves. And I guess you use that to make the berries. <gasps> I'm excited. Okay, so I have made a mess here on my countertop, but um, and now I, I get to start the creative process and going through and ripping everything open. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. You get a taste of what I'm gonna be playing with um, all day long and for the next coming weeks and months. Um, if you have any questions about any of the product that I pulled out of this box or anything that's in the catalog, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Just leave a comment below this video. If you want your own copy of the catalog, also just reach out to me. Thank you so much for watching today's unboxing video. Again, I'm Meg from I Teach Stamping. Have a great day. <laughs>